Hello, what is going on guys? It's the Crypto Joker, aka Alex Cooper, and today we are here with something very special. Today we are here with Curry Swap. You guys see it, man. You've been seeing a lot of videos on our channel about static staking, NFT rewards, yield farming, auction lobbies. Well, boys, now we have a project that does them all. You guys see it here, guys. Curry Swap. These guys are killing the game right now. As you guys can see, they've been battle tested by industry leading blockchain security firms. So a lot of different firms have actually been testing them to see how deep their security goes. And let me tell you guys, it goes very, very deep. I always say it on this channel, man. If you don't have security, you don't have anything. As you guys can see here, an integral part of any new business. They put Curry Swap to the test with two top companies and their highly respected audit procedures so again guys if you're not familiar audit procedures really test it inside and out they go through in-depth tests to see everything how it works to see if it actually meets the amount of level that they're claiming it meets and these guys excelled that as you guys can see here the blockchain security team at Zokyo that's one of the biggest one guys tested the mainnet through their rigorous protocols and they actually came out positive they came out to see that nothing can be done and and again, another time it was audited by Hacken and guys, same results. So awesome, awesome stuff. Let's get into the details, guys. What is Curry Swap? What do they do? They're a high yield multi dap ecosystem built specifically for your curry. You guys heard it, man. Curry, we know it's huge. Everybody's using that. The curry tokens are killing it right now. And we're very excited, guys. So again, it sees how it works. Use your accumulated curry to earn daily ether dividends in the food vault. And then from there, guys, you can get more curry by staking LP tokens in the Curry Chef Yield Farm for a limited time. We're actually going to be going over that farm in just a little bit. And then from there, guys, you're earning big bucks, unique curry swap NFT rewards through the entire process. And it's very, very exciting stuff, guys. So here it really tells you the procedures. And now let's talk about how they do so many things and to the amount that they do it to. So you see it here, guys. They have the farm and stake. So again, that's farm from our tasty menu and receive curry tokens via the Curry Chef limited time yield farming agent so that's an option that's a great option that you could do and then from there you enter the static staker to receive additional creatives until the food vault lobby opens so guys it doesn't just stop there you're receiving tokens here and you're receiving more over there so very awesome stuff and then from there guys you can enter the food vault auction so again upon completion of the yield farming event you enter the food vault stake the curry start collecting 85 percent of the daily ethereum that enters our auction lobby so again guys guys just collecting and collecting and then from there staking earning more and more and more so as you guys can see it's kind of an ecosystem but on top of it you're just earning with different methods and again guys collecting right you want that check you want to see it so again the collect part rewards and more earn extremely rare curry swap nft rewards for stakers and then from there provides ongoing airdrop bonuses for the collectors so you guys see it man you can embrace the spice with curry swaps new high fi multi dap DeFi ecosystem you can farm curry tokens and get rewarded on the curry chef yield farm so very exciting stuff there guys and then from there if you're looking at the staking aspect of it you stake the tokens in the static staking pool to earn more rewards so exactly what i'm saying guys you can earn and earn and earn and then from there you see it man stake curry tokens and earn ether so from there you're just earning and earning and earning and we love to see that so here it tells you about the yield farm aspect of it so again they have different events happening where users can actually stake curry and earn curry rewards Staking your curry in the static staking pool. And then with the addition of the LP tokens and the static staking, guys, you're earning a high APY. So very high rate that you're going to be earning passively. And that's what's important, guys, right? The passive income. And you also have the auction lobby. So you see the curry swap auction lobby over here. Yield farmers will be able to take their curry tokens and stake them in the food vault. And let's talk a little about the tokenomics. You guys know how important this is to me. Because when I look at a token, guys, I want to know exactly where all the funds are going so here you see the name the curry swap yield farm the symbol decimals total initial supply we're very excited to see how much that is and it tells you exactly where it's going guys so 80 percent of the tokens are going towards the liquidity providers so 80 percent of the funds raised by the tokens are going there because that's very important guys you want to make sure the liquidity is on there and it's a1 because liquidity is one of those things you cannot have any issues with right when you want to trade it you should be able to trade it no problem very very easy and we love to see that guys and here it just tells you 
the primary tokens with the curry swap ecosystem so there's curry v1 and curry v2 and they're used for different things so curry v1 is used for the year farming event where users should seek to accumulate as many as they possibly can and then from there guys after the event's done the yield farm closes then the holders are encouraged to migrate their tokens to curry v2 so again really really simple they put those two together just to have different uses and purposes and i love that guys i love the fact that they split it up like that only 11 percent goes to the team so very humble amount and they also have nine percent going to the staking pool the static staking pool to be exact so very exciting guys the way they're actually breaking this apart and again we're very excited to see what the initial supply is they have already 19 ether liquidity pools so good number there you see the cv1 to cv2 ratio block rewards to liquidity providers the fees for staking tokens so very good all around and here it tells you a little bit about their vision guys what they actually plan to do so again developing on the DeFi concept they ignite the world of staking and earning potential with a new hefi dapps ecosystem so really really putting that ecosystem together guys i say it all the time man an ecosystem is great because it serves different purposes and it serves different needs you're not just stuck on one thing so again it tells you the four core dapps of this so it's the creation of yield farm the static staking pool the food vault and the nft airdrop so great combination over there and then here it tells you how offer use the opportunity to farm these curry tokens and earn rewards throughout the entire ecosystem so very exciting stuff guys you see it's used to stake their curry tokens you can earn more and more rewards and let's take a quick look at the roadmap guys because i always say you look at the roadmap you see how much they've accomplished in such a short time it really gives you an indicator of what the future holds you see in early november they were able to do the official launch of the marketing campaign white paper release and then from there you see in late december the farms open and testing audits are completed in q1 you have the launch of the nft rewards in q2 you have the launch of auction lobby food vaults so very exciting stuff guys now talking about what actually is the curry swap ecosystem we said it guys it's a couple different factors putting together one and we talked about it guys the static staking pools the food vaults the nft rewards and you're probably wondering there's so many of these guys what makes them different because guys it's different from other protocols due to the fact that high yields and long-term sustainability are kept at the center of the ecosystem a lot of the projects we see guys they offer some ridiculous numbers and you're just looking at it like no way that can be true man and this is sustainable guys and make sure that it's sustainable there for the long term because anyone could come with a project and just promise a really high return and just this and that but it's like we know that stuff's not real man but these guys they're making sure that it's sustainable we'd love to see it here they're very active on the community you see telegram twitter medium these guys have been very active we love to see it man because it just gives you an idea guys it just gives you an idea of everything they have going on and it's exciting stuff so you see on the top here guys they have all the different things that we talked about from the overview to the yield farm to the auction lobby to the tokenomics and we're very very hyped to see what numbers come out as you guys can see a lot of this is tba but we're very hyped to see what's happening 80 percent going towards the block rewards to liquidity providers and let's just see what the future holds man let's just see what that holds you see in q2 of 2021 q1 of 2021 we have very exciting things coming guys from the lobby of auction from the food vault from all the different factors and let's just see how this ecosystem ties everything together that's all the time we have for today, guys. I'm going to be bringing a lot more videos to the channel. We took a little break during the holidays because, you know, man, we have to be with the family, etc., etc. But we are fully back, back and loaded, ready to push out content. That's all the time we have for today, guys. Crypto Joker, we're out, boys.